Hello students, in this video, I'm going to discuss to you the research paper format that you will be utilizing in writing your research paper. This format is what we call MRAD. So, what is MRAD? MRAD format refers to a paper that is structured by four main sections. The introduction, methods or methodology, results, and the discussion. So basically, MRA just stands for introduction, methods, results, and discussions. This format is often used for laboratory results and as well as for reporting any planned and systematic research in natural sciences engineering or computer sciences thesis and other kind of research papers that is structured using emerald format are usually short and concise the language will be as plain and as unambiguous as possible there is no place in this type of writing for personal views and fanciful language so there is no need for lengthy paragraphs. You just have to be straightforward in writing your paper. This diagram summarizes the whole research paper. As you can see, just like any other format, it starts with the title, then the abstract, then followed by the main body of your research paper. So the main body consists of the introduction, methodology, result, and the discussion. Then the last part of your research paper is for the references. So for the title, the title summarizes the main idea or ideas of your study. A good title contains the fewest possible words that adequately describe the contents and or purpose of your research paper the title is without a doubt the part of a paper that is read the most and is usually read first so take note the title summarizes the main idea or ideas of your study so that means that just by reading the title the readers will know what your research paper is all about then the abstract an abstract is a short summary of your completed research. Take note, completed research. And the abstract should only be 150 to 250 words. So your abstract will be only maximum of 250 words. The abstract is intended to describe your work without going into great detail. Your abstract should be intelligible on its own. So meaning, the readers will know what, your, what the entire paper is all about without having them read the whole paper. So it should contain your results, in other words, your results, your recommendations. In abstract, you usually do not cite references. Most of your abstract will describe what you have studied in your research and what you have found and why you argue in your and what you are argue in your paper. In your abstract, I think the only part of the paper that you will not be mentioning there is the references. So here are the typical kinds of information found in your abstract number one the context or background information of your, of your research the general topic under study the specific topic of your research the number two the central questions or statement of the problem your research addresses number three what's already known about your topic what previous researches have, have already been done and then number four, the main reasons, the rationale, the goals of your research. The number five, your research and or any analytical methods that you have used. The methodology in other words. Number six, your main findings, the results that you have found out. 
And number seven, the significance or implications of your findings. So those are the things that should be written in your abstracts. As you can see, I think the only section of the paper that is not mentioned in the abstract is the references. Next, we have the introduction. So what is the introduction? The introduction explains why this research or your research is important. Or necessary you can begin by describing the problem or situation that motivates you in doing that research then you can move to um, discussing the current state of research about your problem or your about your topic then reveal the gap or problem in your in the field or in the um, topic that you are working on so what is not yet studied about the topic that you have chosen what is not yet tried about the problem that you have choose that you have chosen in doing your research then finally explain how the present research is a solution to that problem or to that gap if the study has hypothesis you can also present that in your introduction then also as you discuss about your problem or about the topic that you are working on take note that you should also mention in your introduction the researches that you have read about uh, the researches that you have read which are related in your study so you mentioned there their results their works their methodology used their um, finding so that you can relate them or you can um, you can relate them or you can connect the informations to your current study then the methodology so the method section tells the reader how you conducted your study it includes information about your population the sample, the methods, and also the equipment. The gold standard of the method section is that it should enable readers to duplicate your study. So you should be um, in. You should write your methodology in details. You should make sure that whoever is whoever will be reading your study, they can do your study as well, but just by following your methodology. Then the method section typically use subheadings. They are written in past tense. So past tense, you will use past tense in writing your methodology. And they use a lot of passive voice. This is typically the least read section of an MRAD report. But for those who are interested to do your research, they will read your methodology. So take note that it uses subheading. So meaning you will have your heading for the sample or the population that you have that you will use then you have your he heading maybe for your um the, the main methodology that you will be using then you will have your heading for the um kind of statistics that you will use to analyze the results of your um, experimentations or your study next we have the results so in this section, you present your findings. Typically, the results section contains only the findings. Only the findings, not any explanation or commentary on the findings. Results sections are usually written in the past tense as well. Make sure all tables and figures are labeled and numbered separately. Caption should go above tables and beneath the figures. So again, in the results section, you will write the results of your study, of your experimentation. And how you will be writing that? You will be writing that in tables or in any kind of graphs. But as long as it is appropriate in your, in your data that you have collected. Then make sure to label. If you are, if you are using the table, put your label above the table. If you are using other kinds of graphs, figures, then you write the captions or the label 
below the figures or the graphs. For the discussion, here you will summarize your main findings. Then you give your comment on those findings and connect them to other research that you have read. You also discuss the limitations of your study and use these limitations as reasons to suggest additional future research. So in your discussion, you will give your recommendations depending on what you have found out along the, uh, the process of your study then the last part of your research paper is the reference or the references so the references page is the last page of an essay or research paper that is been that's been written in apa style it is it lists all the sources you've used in your project so readers can easily find what you have cited APA stands for American Psychological Association. So the APA created the uh, the APA style, which is the standardized method of formatting documents and citing sources. The references page format is unique to the APA style. Other formatting styles have different names and ways of listing sources on the last page of a document. For example, the Modern Language Association or MLA calls it a work cited and the Turabian style calls it a bibliography. So in our case, we will use the APA format. So we will be calling that the references. So, these are the references of my presentation to you. So, that is the format that you will be utilizing in writing your research paper. And that is what we call the MRAD format. So, take note that it should be concise, short and concise. No need for lengthy paragraphs. So, you should be straightforward in writing your papers. You should be in detail, but also you should focus on the main ideas, on the main, um, I, yes, I main ideas of your research. So for for any um, question, you can message me, and then you can also read other references in the internet for this topic. I think that would be all. Thank you and stay safe.